Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm building a sofa table using cheap wood, standard hardware, an Ender 3 Pro, and about 10 gallons of elbow grease. I'm going to be using a system of 3D printed connectors that I designed to create this table. This greatly limits the amount of woodworking actually needed to make this furniture, and it's a whole table. First, I'm going to go over how this system works. To start with, it can build a whole lot of different tables, but today I'm just building a sofa table because that's what I need for my house. This system of parts replaces all of the hard woodworking, um, making joints. Every place where two or three dowels meet, you just use a uh, three printed part. In my table, I'm only using the corner pieces, but I also designed some straight connectors. So if you're using a piece that span is too long, you can just connect them together. Each joint uses three pieces, a top, a bottom, and a retaining ring. I also designed two corner pieces, uh, one with a longer vertical portion and one with a shorter vertical portion. The shorter vertical portion is used right under the tabletop so that um, some little U-brackets can go into the, into the table surface and hold it in place. These are designed to fit on one inch dowels as those are really common and pretty cheap where I live. Also, one disclaimer about this furniture, it's still held together at the corners by 3D printed parts, so use your best judgment. Once you have your pieces picked out and your dimensions uh, all set, it's really just a big connect set of printing the pieces and bolting it all together. I printed all of these parts in PLA, but if I were going to make this again, I would print them out of PETG. The Ender 3 handles PETG really well, so the extra performance would be good in this application. This is mainly because after a while I did start to see some cracking in the initial PLA parts. Um, I made a few design changes and printed some tests in PLA and PETG, and under load I didn't see any more cracking. Real quick, let's take a look at how each of these corners go together. So here is a small sample piece. So the retaining ring goes on the bottom, and then the lower bracket and then the upper bracket just slide onto the dowel. Um, you'll notice I am struggling with these a bit. I have increased the tolerance for the models I am publishing. But then the retaining ring is bolted together to hold the pieces in place, and then the pieces are bolted together with the uh, perpendicular dowels in place. For this table, I need a bunch of 3D printed parts. I will be using four of the corner top brackets, 12 standard corner pieces, eight retaining rings, four tabletop brackets, and four feet. I printed all of these parts out of PLA. For hardware, I am using M3 black oxide bolt and for the top, I just used a edge glued pine board. I'm sure that's enough talking, so let's go ahead and stick the whole thing together. If you make something using this system, let me know. Uh, tag me on Instagram, tweet at me on Twitter. I will put an instructable with uh, some more details and documentation in the description. But let me know. I'd love to see what you guys make. Thanks for watching.